Hi, Malika. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, sir. I'm fine. And how are you? I'm good. Thank you, Malika. So, Malika, you are from which part of India? Sir, I am from Haryana, north okay. part of India. Okay. And you are currently working? Yes, sir. I'm currently working in Tata Consulting Services. Okay. So, Malika, uh, meet my team. Uh, they want to know about more about your uh, background, your profile. Uh, your what you expose to your technical data. So can you please help us? Oh, sure, sir. First of all, I would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to introduce myself. As you know, my name is Malika and I'm born and raised in Yamnanagar, which is in Haryana. I have done my bachelor's in computer applications from TIMT that is affiliated by the Kurukshetra University in 2021. And currently I am having a 1.4 experience in data, data analytics from Tata Consulting Services. Uh, my roles in that uh, and responsibilities in the company were like, I used to interact with the clients uh, my managers and leaders or sometimes with the other units whenever there is a business requirement and uh, I you uh, I have an exp relevant experience in Excel I used it for filtering and uh, filtering the data by using the data validation uh, uh, data validation v lookups and etc uh, then I also use my SQL for um, filtering and extracting the data and loading the data into the database by using the queries and the for uh, the uh, comp uh, components such as the uh, sets operator union set operators like union joints and where clause having clause group by when required and i used to use the tablet tools for the data data value, uh, visualization part and i also have some experience with the python also that's all about me Thank you, Malika. Nice to hear that you have a good experience into managing a lot of data. Yes. So, uh, when you manage the data, mostly you are using SQL, correct? Yes, sir. What are the SQL Windows functions and what are they? Okay, so SQL Windows functions are uh, such as there are a rank function, rank function. SQL window functions are like row, num uh, row number, rank function, and tile, and uh, Okay, go ahead. Yeah, what's the fourth one I don't dense remember. ranking? What's sir? Rank, dense rank. Rank, dense rank, and tile, and row number. Right. These are the four functions. Okay, what is the difference between rank and dense rank? So uh, in rank, whenever we use the rank function, uh, the uh, row, the, whenever there is a similar data, uh, data, maybe the row, the row number is skipped. Wherever in the dense rank, the row number doesn't, uh, the count doesn't skip. It continues as it is. Okay. What is the difference between delete, drop, and truncate? Okay. So, uh, sir, basically, uh, all they all are used to delete the data from the table, but delete is used to delete the specific uh, row, and it cannot be row, uh, it can be rolled back. Whereas the truncate is used to uh, delete the data from the table, but it doesn't delete the structure of the table and it can't be rolled back. And whereas the drop is used to delete the whole table along with its structure and it also cannot be rolled back. Okay. How to delete a particular column in a, a table and what are the syntax considered the table is employee? Okay. So uh, we can use the drop command also. And uh, syntax can be alter, ta alter table or uh, table name and the drop column, column name. Okay, nice. What is the SQL view and what is the uh, syntax for SQL view? And what the advantage why you are people are using organization SQL view? Okay. Yes. Generally, when you have a, like most of the company have a privacy of a data, they are creating what? Instead yes. of accessing directly data from table, what generally do they do get the data? Okay, uh, no issue. What project uh, you involve in your company and you mention as the ETL data management project? Can you elaborate from where from starting to till the delivery from data sources to consumption of data? Can you please elaborate that project, please? 
Okay. Uh, so like uh, we use, uh, it is a uh, tel it is a basically a telecom based project and uh, we used to handle the customer data. Uh, our clients are from the South Africa. There's a company named Telcom in which there is a BCX Unix in, uh, who's our Clark clients. And we used to gather the re customer requirements. Uh, we used to get, uh, we get the data from there. And uh, then we used to, uh, uh, through the, ex uh, we used to get the data through the Excel sheets and, and uh, also, and also from the different sources, then we used to ex uh, collect that data into the single source, and I use the Excel for that uh, mostly uh, to gather that data, filter uh, filter the data according to the requirement. If there is any duplicacy, to uh, delete all this data and uh, create basically creating a final workbook, and then I use the SQL for finding out the. Uh, finding the relevant data and performing some queries as required. And I basically use that uh, tableau for visualization that data and show it to the, uh, whenever I am required to show them to the managers or clients for the. Okay. So while building this uh, data management project in ETL process, where do you face the challenges? And what are the transformation you use in that? Uh, while uh, lowering the data from source to target. Okay. Uh, so basically, uh, in initially I faced many challenges as when uh, sometimes uh, there is very re relevant data and uh, filtering the data can be uh, quite difficult in Excel. Uh, so also like whenever there are duplicate records and uh, it uh, sometimes and null sometimes when especially when there are the null values it is very difficult to handle the null values uh, but uh, i then uh, we can uh, then i there here when the python comes the python we can use some libraries to handle those null values and uh, so i uh, interpret that challenge with them. okay what is the VLOOKUP formula? Okay, so VLOOKUP formula is uh, VLOOKUP, then the lookup value that you want to look in that table, then we used to select the column from which that value needs to be looked up. And then we used to, uh, then the next thing is uh, required, uh, required a column. Uh, sir, if I can elaborate with an example. Yeah, yeah. Like sir, there is a data in which there is a name, role number, a student name, student role number, and maybe student phone contact number. And uh, I need to extra if I need to extract the contact number of that student from the name given. So the VLOOKUP formula will be is equal to like if I am taking my example lookup value that is my name Malika, and that is then the lookup tape uh, column. I can, it is my and that's the choice you can select the whole table or maybe the column uh, in lookup value we select the whole uh, uh, find the particular record then there is the uh, result value like I need to find the contact number so I used to, I have to select the whole the contact column then there uh, the last uh, value will be the I need the exact data or which for which zero is used and then the uh, exact thing then uh, and then zero and one zero and one is used zero is used for the exact data and basically we use that so and that's then okay what is the difference between live and extract in tableau okay so a live data is used live data is used when uh, used when we uh, when we need to, when we don't want uh, need to, in live data, we don't need to refresh the uh, data frequently. Whenever the changes are made in the data source, uh, the changes can be reflected uh, in the tableau itself. But with the extract data, it basically click the snap, uh, like a snapshot of the data. <coughs> Sorry, sir. <coughs> in extract, it basically like take a snapshot of the data. It does not, uh, uh, changes the value whenever the source is updated itself. We need uh, for that purpose. We need to schedule the refreshes. It's uh, schedule the refresh, but in the live, it uh, changes the uh, reflects the changes itself. Yeah, that's the difference. Okay. What is dual uh, or dual access in Tableau, and how how okay. will you dual access? So dual access is used to basically. Mal uh, 
see the two measures uh, uh, side by side accordingly uh, with the one axis basically we use this when we uh, used to measure more than one dimensions along with a single axis or we can say we can combine the two graphs within one with the help of the dual axis <coughs> <laughs> want to drink a glass of water can take take your water come on sir or is that fine so is it fine okay so like uh, uh, looks like you are working tcs uh, in go such a reputed organization in you know working uh, the data profile why were uh, planning to leave from such a beautiful and such a good company tcs okay uh, sir actually currently in the project which i am working is about to end okay. and i am looking for a good opportunity is there so that's why i would plan to change the but you are not finding any good opportunity from tcs <laughs> no sir not right now okay you are not finding good opportunity yes sir i have tried to look for the opportunity but i didn't find any good one and also the tcs uh, place the candidates based on the business requirement i am not sure if i'll get the data analytics or not okay. in further okay what is your strength sir so my strength is my ability to handle the uh, handle the work and manage pressure i can manage stress easily i can manage stress and i can handle my, i am very by multitasking and I, i also i am very hard working i never stop learning this is my strength okay nice Uh, so i think i'm good malika uh, do, do, do you have any question for us uh, yes sir uh, so like when can i join yeah so as i uh, mentioned recruit right i think already inform you a couple of a candidate we are in pipeline we are put a few round also still pending so for further round hr will get back and we will get the notification okay okay thank you so much sir. thank you